What is up and welcome to my highly and professional video, but it gets the job done. So here is this thingy. It's actually pretty awesome. It plugs into your uh, cigarette lighter, uh, little power thing in your car. It does have a USB, but it also is Bluetooth and it has aux cord as well. This little thing for anyone who doesn't have a aux cord or Bluetooth in their car is a lifesaver, especially for those who have cars for their first time, just like me, and I don't have the aux or Bluetooth. So this thing, uh, it is actually pretty good. It has pretty good reviews, actually. I'd ha I cannot say how good it is. But uh, since I thought I bought the wrong thing because I'm a dumbass from, uh, dumbass from frick, can't even talk. Uh, I bought the wrong thing from GameStop and I'm a dumbass so I gotta go return it and I lost the receipt so I don't know how that's gonna go down so uh, I'm an idiot so I thought I was like hey uh, I just got this while I was at home coincidentally so good time to go test this out I'm gonna do like a little unboxing thing it's got a little sleeve then it has a plain white box underneath it is only about $15 on Amazon depending on where you buy it from I will uh, link the exact one that I bought in the description and there is a bunch of different ones and if you so far while I'm taking my time to unbox this thing uh, please drop a like if this is helping you out even though I'm like kind of dysfunctional with my hand uh, so little instructions no one needs that and uh, here oh sweet actually this does come with an aux cord so that is an easier setup I'm actually probably gonna prefer the aux cord over the Bluetooth um, myself just because it's uh, maybe you know what I'll just do the Bluetooth setup so it's a little LCD feels kind of cheap but uh, so let's oh, shit the camera decides to unfocus so let's go to the car figure out if this thing is worth the couple dollars the 10 15 dollars it was so I'll see you at my vroom vroom so here in my car I'm in the passenger seat so uh, don't judge uh, so anyways open up oh, damn my, my thing's kind of broken so it kind of falls out so I don't know how this is gonna go uh, so just plug it in see first impression what it does if it even goes in uh, uh, oh ooh. look at that Oh man, it's got even a volume adjuster that I can't reach from the fucking seat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my neighbors are looking at me. Don't judge me. Okay, um, okay, sweet. It's got a volume adjuster. Let's see, channel. So this does work off the radio, so you gotta find the channel on the radio that does have, like, the worst connection so it doesn't interfere. So I'll get this thing synced up to my phone through Bluetooth. I'm not gonna do the aux cord because... Ox cord. Is this volume? Yeah, this is volume. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I'll cut right to them. Okay, so my camera's gonna die soon, so I'm gonna have to go quick. I was actually super amazed at how good the quality actually is. This transmitter is freaking amazing for $15. So I went to 107, uh, 100.7. At 100.7, link up through Bluetooth, really simple, no password, no anything, really simple, basic setup. Uh, sorry, I'm going so fast here. So, um, yeah, really simple setup. You don't really need a whole instruction thing. If you know how to use Bluetooth, then it's pretty straightforward. And check this out. Oh. All right, so <laughs> that first initial test, that was ridiculous. So it's kind of based off around the frequency strength of whatever you're around. Uh, so <laughs> that first test... Uh, at first, I thought it was good, and then it went crappy, but actually, I found the perfect setting from it from driving around. Oh, my God, there's a cat. There's a damn cat in my freaking driveway. God damn it. A cat shits everywhere. Anyway, went to GameStop, got my controller. Took forever. They were having problems. Couldn't return this garbage. So, going to show you the best setting that I figured out. Uh, th this is just for quiet music. 
it's all the same. It sounds the same. It doesn't matter. But if you like banging bass and people are putting up Christmas lights, if you like banging bass in your car, uh, I found the better setting. What to do is uh, so take this this little knob on it, and uh, the focus wants to just focus on uh, the dark background behind it. So let's just put it on the button itself. There we go. Oh my god, that looks dope. Uh, you want to grab it, grab it, grab it. There we go. Grab it. Turn this up all the way. Turn this up about midway, and you're going to hear some static going on. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's a little bit of static. It's quite static, but actually, uh, when you turn it on on your phone, it, it doesn't affect the sound quality at all, unlike the other settings that I tried out. And so, listen to this. So before I get copyrighted, that's it, Yellow Claw, dope ass motherfuckers right there. Uh, that's just their style of drop. That was a kind of like a weird drop. It sound they made it sound like that. Uh, it's with reverb and whatever uh, music stuff. Uh, but that was actually sounding pretty good. And when you're driving around, uh, if you do want to pop bass with this thing, just of course you press your setting. It should say push audio, and then it'll say bass. Turn up the bass all the way. Mine's turned up. Uh, but and then treble keep it the same the mid actually if there's a mid one uh, Most cars don't have it uh, or I don't know most cars should have it actually But my car just doesn't have mid and so mid would kind of get rid of the little static that comes from these things uh, As you hear it's kind of subtle, but yeah anyway, so that was the best setting so actually this time Andre OGKT signing off. Be sure to go check out my social media and check out this video if you don't know how to set up a wired controller to your PC to game See you guys in the next video. Peace. Ah.